Hello and welcome to this online lecture about identifying bases by formula. There are um, a few different ways that you can tell if a compound is a base, but you're only going to be responsible for a few of these. And we're going to start out with the most common one by far, and that is by looking for metal hydroxides. So anytime you see a metal with a polyatomic ion hydroxide, then that is a base. So some examples of this would be like sodium hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide. Anytime it's a metal with hydroxide, you know right, off the, right away you can be very confident that that's a base. Those are always bases. Now by far that's the most common type of base that you're probably going to see in this class and is if you remember that rule alone you, you've got almost all of it but there are a few other types of compounds that are also bases um, one of them very common is ammonia NH3 now ammonia is a base not because it has hydroxide in it but because when you put it in water it creates hydroxide by stealing a hydrogen from from water molecules to make OH so this is ammonia and that is a base that so you should just kinda know NH3 is a base other one, other ones that you need to be um, kind of aware of are metal carbonates and bicarbonates So a metal carbonate would be like calcium, oops, calcium carbonate. An example of a metal bicarbonate, sometimes also called hydrogen carbonates. You'll see why in a second. Would be like sodium bicarbonate. So anytime you see a metal ion combined with a carbonate polyatomic ion or a bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate polyatomic ion that's also a clue that that is going to be a base whoa that's a crazy bee what happened there so what do you have to remember you have to remember metal bicarbonates bicarbonate is HCO3 you have to remember metal carbonates Metal and a carbonate is CO3. You have to remember ammonia. So carbonates, bicarbonates, ammonia, and most importantly, by far, by a mile, most importantly to remember are the metal hydroxides. Metal hydroxides. Anytime you see one of these things in a formula, you can be very, very confident that what you're looking at is a base. That does it for this online video lecture, probably the shortest one you have in the class. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in class, and thanks for watching.